1991RX. This thing's only powered with a 90 horsepower Mercury engine. This goes to show that Stingray knows how to get every single ounce of performance out of a boat. We get them playing in 3.2 seconds to 30 miles an hour in 7.4 seconds with a top speed of 43.5 miles an hour. Unbelievable speed for a 90. You can go skiing with this boat, no worries. Most time 90 horsepower boats, you're relegated to pulling the kids with a tube. Not this guy. As usual, these things handle beautifully. Hang on, Duncan. Let's head back to the dock and check out some features of the boat. The Mark Stingray, to me, has always delivered a, a tremendous value for the money. And this time, you've, you guys have just gone crazy. What what do we got on this package here? That's exactly right. We um, we came tried to come up with a package that was uh, that would really hit that price point and give a, lot, a customer a lot for their money. And so what we've got here is a 19 foot outboard powered boat with a 90 horsepower engine that we retail at uh, 17.995 boat motor trailer. That's just unbelievable. I mean, who can't afford that, right? That's exactly right. Now, I noticed uh, Stingray is offering the outboards now. Why are you guys doing that? Um, well, there's, uh, you know, with the the Catalyst product that's in the market, uh, things are more price sensitive nowadays. So, um, and we felt like it was uh, it was important to try to touch on some of the outboard product because it is a lot nicer nowadays than it used to be. I'll tell you, the outboards now are just tremendous. They are. With the four-stroke technology, they're in some cases quieter than the stern drive. Yeah, and you're given lots of choices, so th that's always good. That's exactly right. Now tell me what we have in the back here. What we have in the back here is a nice uh, area to board the boat on and off or to access the stern of the boat with a boarding ladder and a couple nice perches on the back for uh, for entertaining. Yeah, Loads of seating too. We got the full width uh, stern bench, so full width stern bench and a ton of storage underneath as well. That's great. Now, Mark, what do we have going on at the helm? So, in the helm, we have all the necessary gauges that you'd need to operate the boat properly. Um, automatic belge pump is standard on this boat, as well as uh, circuit breakers for all the uh, all the switches. Still have some stylish touches too. I like this uh, stitched uh, eyebrow here. That's right. It's the same eyebrow we use on our L series boats. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Let's go up front and see what we have going on. Okay. You know, Mark, one thing I love that you guys have done is normally on the sub 20 footers, I was, it always seems to be real cramped up front and there's no recline for the backrest here, but you've still given a pretty generous amount of recline and six foot of leg room, I mean, no worries. That's right, leg room's important. important when you're riding the bow of a boat. It's also nice and deep. Now what kind of, uh, what do we have going on here? We've got a small uh, cooler here in the front uh, to store your drinks, ice and drinks there as well as a couple cup holders. Nice. I like the fact you have a center line um, uh, cleat up here too. You know, when a lot of times they'll see them off to the side and if you anchor when it's kind of rocking, it pulls you at a weird angle and this thing will ride nice and straight. That's exactly right. It keeps the bow pointed into the uh, end of the current. Fantastic. For more information on the Stingray 191RX and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water.